What is up, everybody? It is Wednesday, 420, <laughs> April 20th. Uh, happy 420, everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. So this is the calm before the storm, believe it or not. Believe it or not, we're doing the calm before the storm. I'm just gonna go right now, forget it, we're going. We're going. I can't believe it. Yeah, we're doing a calm before the storm video. So it, uh, it appears we could get like three or three to five inches of snow. So keep your fingers crossed that we do get something good like that. That would be wonderful. That would be awesome. And so anyway, I love you guys. I'm glad to be back. I'm glad to see you guys. Um, yeah, so it should not, I think it's gonna be in like a, tomorrow night is when everything's supposed to start happening. So. We're just going to go for a cruise around the town so everyone can see how there is no snow anywhere to be seen. There's nothing. And it's just pretty cool to see the difference right before a snowstorm, especially when, when we don't have any snow. I miss doing these videos, man. I miss you guys so much. I love the comments. I love the camaraderie we have with each other. I love everything about you guys. So, anyway, anywho, life's pretty good, I guess. There's one thing in my life that's like more special than anything, but yeah. I'm telling you guys, I can't wait to the day where I can introduce you guys to her. It's gonna be pretty awesome. It's gonna be pretty amazing. I'm so in love, it's crazy. Oh, you know what? I haven't seen you guys since I realized that. Not that anybody cares, but like, I am I am deeply in love. Like, I am, like, it's crazy. I am so in love. Like, I don't even know what to do. I don't know what to do anymore. I am really in love, so. Um, yeah. Hope everybody at least feels the way that I feel in your life. I'm telling you, this is like the greatest feeling ever. And the fact that we're gonna get some snow in the next day and a half is just amazing. I'm so excited. That's gonna make everything so much happier. But yeah, that's what's going on with me. I know you guys can't believe it. <laughs> this fool's in love. Anyway. Some of you knew it before I even knew it, which is pretty cool. But yeah, so anyway, we're just gonna drive around on the North Shore and uh, do a drive around the lake. We're gonna drive through Fonskin and do one of them drives. But yeah, like, seriously, like, madly in love. It's crazy. So I want you guys to know that I am happy and it's a, this is a process, like, I haven't let myself feel like this in years, so um, it's, I feel like an idiot that I haven't allowed myself to, to love or be loved, but this person was put in my life right at the perfect time for everything, and it's just, I don't know if anyone understands what it feels like to like want to, like I've never wanted to do like just everything for someone else. to talk about that stuff but I, I really I really really can't wait to you guys get to meet her like oh my gosh like it's gonna be so awesome yeah I think we're a beautiful couple I do I do I'm really really excited for you guys to to meet her and just yeah Anyway, yeah, so as I said, we could get up to three to five inches in some parts of the valley. I don't anticipate more than an inch. I really don't. 
but we'll see what happens. I'm gonna keep the faith like I always do, even though it never pans out, at least not this season. Poor snow summit, We're running out of snow. They're already closed, they closed on Saturday. Saturday was the last day. No more snow summit makes me sad. So there's gonna be a good month here where it's gonna be really quiet up here, a transition period. And usually that's a, it's, it's a pretty nice time up here. For those of you who want peace and quiet, I'd come up here in this next month and rent some hotels. It'll be cheap because not a lot of people will be here. And you'll be able to be here when it's like one of the quietest, if not the quietest time of the year in all of Big Bear. more stores over here though because I would live over here for sure I just would hate having to drive all the way around the lake just to go get a loaf of bread well you can you can go to this this little store and in, in Fonskane and you'll be good but still at the same time I want to have all my options it's so beautiful out here you guys wow it is so beautiful
Tangorgonia looks amazing. Look at how much snow is still up there. That is beautiful. That is so beautiful. Just an incredible view. Mind you guys, 25 miles an hour is the speed limit through here. You never want to exceed it. I understand giving tickets and stuff like that. If you don't follow the law, I totally get it. But I just don't want you guys to have to pay an exorbitant amount of money for a little speeding ticket when you're on vacation because that would just destroy the whole vacation. So, unless you can maintain a good positive attitude, <laughs> which sometimes I can, especially if I get a ticket. Sometimes I notice I take it for granted a little bit these days, and I typically don't. So I'm trying to really be careful about that because, with all due respect to living down the mountain, like that's that's where I grew up. I grew up in Newport Beach, but if I ever had to leave here, I wouldn't even want to just. I probably wouldn't want to live anymore. Honestly, it's just so peaceful, and when you become accustomed to so much peace, it's tough. Hang on. Sorry about that. I had to cut a little bit of the video, I guess. Well, not cut it. I just didn't have it recording because um, I got a phone call from from the person I love very much. So had to answer it. Had to. Didn't have a choice because my heart just can't not answer it when she calls. I I'll never not answer her phone call. So I feel like such an idiot, but it is what it is. Man. Oh my gosh. An idiot meaning like just so in love, like just, just an idiot in love, man. Anyway, back to back to reality here. Um, yeah, it's 420 and we're gonna get some snow in the next day and a half. Looking forward to it. Hope all of you are staying safe and hope you're all staying healthy. The healthy thing is obviously the most important one I'm concerned about. I want you guys to be all right. Um, yeah. And this is a little storm coming in, you guys, so it's pretty cool. Hence the calm before the storm. I wonder if we're going to get like any winter weather advisories. I bet you we will because of the time of year it is. I bet you we will. What am I doing? The lake's right over here. I just need to be like, we're right on the lake here.
Okay, so we're coming up to the dam. As you guys know, because I talk about it all the time, this part of town right here, this is like, the, this is the snowiest part of town that I've, I've noticed. Obviously the ski resorts will get a little more snow, but when it comes to just, I don't know, at the 6,750 foot elevation type stuff, this is the snowiest area. Because all the storms just come feeding right through here, this big opening. The rest of town has this whole mountain to deal with. But this area right here, just from Snow Valley, you see Snow Valley Ski Resort? That's what I'm pointing at right now. This whole area, it's just a big opening right here. And the storms come barreling through here and dump a lot right here and get held up over here. right now you know what sounds good laying out in the sun right now that sounds really good but unfortunately I can't be that far away from like work I can take a little or try to take a nap but then when work comes summoning I must I must break free of the slumber and pour ahead their house also so I'll give them a honk because that's just what I do
sure you guys can tell how quiet town is compared to usual. Usual meaning just regular winter. I mean, I'm going to say this next week and a half is going to be the slowest week and a half of the year. So you guys might want to come up here to experience the real serenity of nothingness. Because it is really nice. <laughs> I have like really bad cotton mouth and it's not because it's 420. I just don't know why I have really bad cotton mouth right now. So I keep on coughing a little bit. Okay, we're coming by my friend. Oh, I can't honk the horn because these people are standing outside. Are my friends home? Yep. <laughs> I scared the crap out of that guy. I didn't mean to. But that's where my friend lives. I did not mean to. What's up, Boston? How you doing, bro? That guy at the bus stop, his name is Boston. glass of ice cold orange juice <laughs> seriously like I could probably I could probably do like a half a gallon I could pound a half a gallon right now go ahead folks go ahead yeah no problem no problem Seeing this guy on his motorcycle is really making me want to get on my motorcycle. And so that's a possibility when I get back. We'll see. Hey, birdie. <laughs> you know what? I need to go to the post office. So. I think we're going to shut this down here. But I just wanted you guys to know I love you guys a lot. Thank you guys for everything you guys do for me. Um, yeah, anything I can ever do for you guys, don't ever hesitate. And sorry I've been kind of MIA a little bit lately. I've just been in an emotional situation right now. So thanks for understanding. I appreciate you guys. Bye. And I love you guys more than you'll ever understand. This guy's going the wrong way, buddy. <laughs> 